Yo guys, what is up, Davis here? So, this console was a complete bitch. Um, I don't know what else to call it, cause like, it just, it would not, it would stop glitching, for one, and I just, I couldn't figure out what was wrong with it, and the only thing I could think of was, it would need a CR4, so I was just researching CR4s on there, and I came up with, uh, I found this install, and it's called the Muffin, the CR4 Muffin install, and it, it works really good. So, let me tell you what was happening. So, I installed this, it originally had CR4, uh, sorry, it originally had speed up on it with the Ace chip, and it would boot sometimes, uh, it, it was really slow, honestly, and... It would glitch three times with this with the ace chip on there, and if it didn't boot within those those three cycles, then it would stop glitching. And I, I'm not really sure why it would stop glitching. I've read different things. I've heard different things from different sellers that like the CPU is bad in it, like it has some kind of issue. But um, it's the only thing I can think of was to to do a different install with a CR4. But, and then sometimes with this, it would overheat, like it would just, it would stop glitching and then overheat randomly. Um, and then one way I figured out how to, how to get it to work with this was to take the speed up off and select the glitch two, the glitch two M, I think it was, uh, on J runner. And it would, it would still do it sometimes if it glitched like a really long time. Uh, but then you know, it would work, so, but I, I wanted faster boot time, so, so I could send this thing out, so I found this install, and this was originally a V1, and I put, I took this off of the, um, I think it's the Olive Skater, I can't pronounce it right, but I took that off of a Rev D that I had, that was bad, put it on there, and then, um, I also took the switch off of the cool runner and put it on there and originally that did not work at first so I took that off and then I bridged that point which looks awful I need to fix that but uh bridged that point and now it, it boots so um and this also works with a Rev D I tried it and I'll have the link in the description for the uh timing files but uh I was trying it a different way and the two and three you make sure the two and three is bridged not the way I have it right here and make sure the uh, C8 resistor is gone and put it on fat and it'll boot um, but I tried that and I also tried this one and this chip seems to boot it up faster than the uh, Rev D so see look at that first first boot and it freaking ends the boot it it's freaking sweet man So sometimes it can still take a little bit, but it doesn't overheat and turn off and stop glitching like the Ace chip did. So, you know, that that's all that matters. As long as it boots every single time I turn it on, that's what I want it. So, uh, turn this thing off. Another instant boot. And this is a V4 Corona. It's not a 2K wind bond or whatever. Um, it's just a stubborn one that, I don't know, but my friend Calvin, he has a, a console that does the same thing. It stops glitching on its own, and like, if it doesn't boot, you have to turn it off, turn it back on, and it was just retarded. So, you know, I'm, I'm guessing this install has fixed it. It's just something to do with. Shit, I honestly, I don't even know. I guess it's something to do with like the CPU being bad or something. Another instant boot. So yeah, guys, this, this install is freaking good. CR4 muffin install. Go check it out. So yeah, guys, I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.